You know, I am a big fan of plumbing systems. And if you've been a follower of my channel for long, you know that I've talked a lot about water heaters and all kinds of plumbing systems. You know, I've learned a lot of that knowledge from master plumber, Eric Ani. You know, Eric is a Build Show Network contributor who is a master plumber up in Minnesota. And on today's Best of the Build Show, we're gonna go check out one of Eric's classic videos. He has a very old house that has a magnetic separator in the hydronic heating system. And Eric's gonna walk you through all the details. I always said that had I not been a builder, I would have really enjoyed the process of becoming a master plumber from learning under, under somebody as an apprentice, becoming a journeyman and eventually getting that master's license. I think I get to live vicariously a little bit through Eric Ani. I love watching his videos. So with that being said, Eric Ani, the best of the build show. Let's get going. Hey everybody, uh, I wanna to talk today about magnetic separation or dirt separation in a hydronic system. Water quality is a huge issue when it comes to these high efficiency appliances. It's not something that we had to worry about for years and years. If you're in a heating market, you live in and work in a market where there's a lot of hydronic or boilage systems, you probably are familiar with the term water quality and its importance, but maybe you haven't worked with any components that address the issues that water quality can bring to a hydronic system. So let's start today real quick, just going over one component that I think is probably gonna be familiar to some people. You're gonna see a lot more coming in the future. First things first, we've got an old heating system here that was gravity at one time. There was no pumps that were on the system originally. So they're great big, huge coal boiler. Um, pipes are all in, uh, in, they're pitched back to the boiler up to the heat emitters, which were giant cast iron radiators. And you've got this big steel piping with cast iron fittings. Now, when you put water in steel piping, the oxygen and the water, uh, create an electrolyte and it wants to corrode with piping. That's fine with those old boilers, that old coal boiler never was gonna be an issue in a million years. Now, a million years later, we're putting in these super high efficient boilers. They're very um, susceptible to poor water quality conditions and we're still utilizing these old, this old piping. So we need to address that with what's called a dirt or magnetic separator. And so I'm gonna move over here. We get passed into the boiler room now. We've got our high efficiency boiler. We've got now modern piping is gonna be typically copper. We see some packs on some systems, but with your high temperature stuff, you're gonna still see the copper piping. Uh, copper is great because it's non-corrosive. So our water quality is less of an issue with copper piping, but we're still dealing with this old steel stuff. So you can see this asbestos wrap stuff. Um, three inch, two and a half. We've got supplies, returns. We've got cast iron radiators throughout the entire house. And so we've got an issue with water quality when it comes to oxygen in the water and just the corrosion that it can be caused from the steel piping. Uh, right around the corner here, I've got what's called a mag magnetic dirt separator. I'm gonna show you how that works and really uh, just demonstrate it. It's a really simple device. I'm gonna have to suck in the gut here to get down in there, it's really tight. Um, so apologize having to turn my back to the camera, but hopefully you can see in here. So this is a magnetic dirt separator. It's made by a company called Kalefi. It's an all brass device. It's got a magnet down the center of it. And it's also got this magnetic ring on the outside that has multiple magnets in it. The reason why this is so cool is you can see the iron pipe thread in, in and out of it. That's fine. The steel piping in a heating system like this isn't going to corrode or, or cause too much problems over time. It'll last many, many years. But the old piping and the cast iron radiators throughout the system already have about 100 years worth of um, what's called iron oxide buildup. It's just the dissolved metals from the cast iron and from the steel piping. This device is gonna protect and capture those, those, that metal that's in the system circulating through the, in the water. It's gonna capture it in here and protect the boiler by separating it out of the water and keeping it from depositing in the boiler. That's super important because we've got a boiler here that they just invested a ton of money in. We want it to last 30 years. We don't wanna fill it up with dissolved iron. Okay. This device, the separator, has a media inside of it, 
and it has this magnet like I pointed out and what that all that does together is is that the water enters it from the rest of the house this is where all the radiators uh, the water from the radiators for the whole house is coming back from into the return of the boiler it slows the velocity inside this chamber that's what's super important here when you slow velocity in a piping system what you're doing is you're allowing that water to swirl around at a lower rate but any particles inside that water are going to drop down to the bottom of this chamber okay what's really cool about this though is really think of it as like a larger pipe okay it's really all it is it's just a larger pipe it's got a screen in the middle of it and it's got this magnetic rod so this rod has um, four different very powerful magnets on it okay those magnets inside this brass tube are uh, capturing those that magnetic particles the iron the dissolved iron that's coming back from all the radiators inside this separator now there's also this black band that has a few magnets on it too that snaps onto the outside okay now what i've done is i've removed all the magnets i've got the system turned off so we're not gonna we don't have water flowing through it but i've got the makeup water on so if i let a bit of a little bit of water out it's going to replace it we won't have any problems with pressures here's why that's important right on the bottom of the separator is a hose connection with a valve I put my bucket here so we can see when I open this up the dirty water that's going to come out of it. Because remember, I removed that magnet. I'm going to just set it right there. The magnet's out of there. The magnet on the bottom is off. So any of the magnetic iron oxides, the, the particles that were collected on that magnetic rod inside, are now just sitting in the bottom. And as I flush water out of the valve, it's going to push them into my bucket. So just gonna open up the valve here. It really just takes a few seconds. Let me pull this out here. You can see that dirty water in the bottom of the bucket. That black color, that's the actual particles, the iron that's in the water. So I carry this magnet in my pocket on my keychain. Pretty cool device. And I have it here just to show you what we're trying to separate out of the boiler water to protect this boiler. So I'm gonna put this magnet in here and just run it around. And see that black stuff on there? That's actually dissolved piping, cast iron, it's, it's iron. It's magnetic. It will dissolve in the piping, in the valves, in the bottom of the boiler, in the cast iron radiators. And over time, and it doesn't have to be a long time, 10 years, you know, it's going to de it's going to decrease the efficiency or the output of the system. It's going to cause problems. With our new circulator pumps, they have these permanent magnet motors inside of them. You can imagine if a motor has a magnet on it and it's got water running through it that has dissolved iron, that's going to, ca you know, it's going to corrode or collect there. Um, we're trying to separate that out utilizing this separator here, this magnetic and dirt separator. It's not just for magnetic particles. It's just the bonus that it has the magnets. It's also going to um, reduce and eliminate some dirt or some sludge that's throughout the system that isn't magnetic through that slowing of the velocity. So hopefully that was helpful to you. Uh, I'm going to put this back together and just make sure their system's back up and running. But if you have want to learn more information about magnetic and dirt separation, follow me on Instagram on, at Mechanical Hub. Follow our website, mechanical-hub.com. Thanks to the Build Network uh, for having me, and I appreciate it. Have a good day. All right, if you nerds are like me and you really enjoy plumbing and learning about it, you have got to go check out Eric Ani's other videos. You know, he's been a Build Show Network contributor for a couple years now, and in the description, I'll have a link to Eric's page on the buildshow.com. By the way, look for the link for our newsletter because this is how you find out what's new from Eric Ani is click on that newsletter and hit subscribe. We publish about 15 new videos a week, including an email that says, hey, here's what's new from Eric, from Lydia, from Stephanie, from Steve, from Jake, from Matt, that's published on the website with a link to click on that so you can find out all the new good stuff. In the meantime, go follow Eric on Instagram. He's at Mechanical Hub. He publishes super interesting Instagram videos. He's a great guy and I'm really thankful to have him on the buildshow.com. That being said, guys, stay tuned for more best of on Tuesdays 
and my brand new videos on Friday. Hit that subscribe button below. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.